How's fall camp going for you so far? Uh, fall camp's going wonderful, man. It's my last year. I'm ready to go out with the guys with a, with a bang. New year in the ACC. I'm just ready to show everybody what everybody what Pony Up is uh, capable of. How different is it for you this year compared to when you first arrived, just in terms of being comfortable with your teammates and, and your coaching staff? Uh, I say it's pretty much no different. It's just, you know, just meeting new people and, and new coaching staff with, you know, new assurance staff and all. So um, it's coming up on a, on a different program coming up in here is uh, Dallas, Texas, you know, there's no better football than Texas ball. So uh, just being back in Texas, being back with the guys is, is all, all I can, you know. What is, what is the competition like on the defensive line, especially on the interior of this camp? Man, uh, so I always say that, you know, if you have a good O-line, D-line, you have a good team. So uh, that's always what the trenches are. You know, if you have a good D-line, you're going to have a good defense. You have a good offensive line. You have a good offense. And uh, just just going off, you know, what, what, how we've been going, uh, we go, at, it, we go at, at each other heads every day, and we're getting better every day. And, I uh, just can't, show the, can't wait to show the world what, you know, SMU is about, so that's good. The unit kind of has that mix of you got some guys returning, you had some key players leave. How do you guys make sure that you're still elevating the D-line, especially after having such a strong year last year? So D-line, uh, especially our coach, with uh, Coach Thibodeau, he likes to rotate our guys and be fresh. But if he, he's not confident that, you, you know, you're in there, he's not really going to throw you out. But good thing about that, we got three, four groups. Everybody's ready to hunt. So there's a hunt to the ball. and. We're all, you know, competitive. So, for us first to the ball, we all, you know, congratulate each other, but we're also working each other, craft and our techniques to get better every day. So, speaking of Hunt, what what have you thought about Jared Harrison Hunt? Uh, you know, uh, coming in. Uh, so Jared, he's pretty cool. You know, uh, you know, I know have a team from Miami, but we got some nice, <laughs> nice, nice people, nice, nice guys from Miami, and uh, I'm grateful for that. This makes nothing but the D line group more stronger, and that's what we need. So, especially with all the people who left last year, Elijah Chapman, Jordan Miller. You know, it's a better, you know, eval for us as D-line and more depth. So, he's grateful for that. Yeah, with you being the kind of the veteran of the group that, mm -hmm. that's been here, how much more of a leadership role are you trying to take, you know, like Elijah did? And, and yeah, so uh, I, I, I know um, E, he, he's more of the, the group leader, but I'm like the like the second, you know, group leader. And, uh, you know, we me, me and Elijah keep trying to push each other, like, hey, tell the DTs, you know, go do this and that. I'll get the ends or we'll switch it up, do drills with each other or – we always just trying to get back with each other to get more work in so we can just dominate this year in the ACC. So. The coaches have talked about the increased depth that you tackle. Mm -hmm. Where's that, how's that going to pay off the most, uh, being able to rotate that many fresh guys in and out? Man, uh, yeah, I say it's a blessing. It's uh, way easier than last year because we really only had like two groups. Now we've got like three or four groups. And the way we're looking right now, it's, 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 it's scary. Real trouble for other people. So. Uh, I just can't really wait for the season to start, get, get it popping, so week zero. The offensive line, obviously, they became deeper, mm -hmm. got stronger, mm -hmm. had lots of power five uh, transfers. Mm -hmm. What has it been like going up against them in practice? Man, I say they real competitive, man. They always trying to throw us to the ground, always trying to, you know, pancake us and all, but that's that's what we need to compete. You know, if we're pushing each other back to back, nobody else going like that in, in the other practice field. So that's good on our part because, so we could dominate anybody who come in. When you look across the line, obviously Justin Osborne moved to center. Mm -hmm. What's your impression of him in the middle of that line making calls? Man, J.O., man, he's, 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 he's trouble, man. He pick up blocks. Somebody pull, he's picking up a, a block. And it's, it's crazy how, how, how freakishly you know, he, can, he can move and all. So I, I think it's real good we got him at center. I know he played guard a lot last year and all. So I know he's very agile. He can play all over the line, and that's that's – one thing that makes him one of the greatest players on our, on our team right now. You guys had talent on the defensive line last year, but like you said, you know, only two groups. How mm -hmm. much of a difference does it, from a mindset standpoint, give you when you have three, four groups that you feel good about? Uh, it's, 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 it's it, like in game time when it hits, it's a lot confident because mm -hmm. we know that once the first group get out, that second group is going to, you know, do the same thing as the first group did. And that's something a lot of people can't say that they have a, a defensive line like that. Uh, to be able to rotate in and out like that, to have a, while the old line's tired, that they just got whooped by the first group. Now they got to go against the second group, who's even more fresh. They're about to whoop on them, on them even more. So uh, it's scary, but like I said, I can't wait for this year to even show everybody what we could do.
earlier this week the linebackers talked about how because you guys are so talented you will pick up multiple blocks and free mm -hmm. up some gaps and holes so does that motivate you guys knowing that you may not get all the stats and the sacks but you're going to help out the guys behind you oh most definitely uh everybody got a job to do and the greatest thing about that everybody's hunting to the ball so um we always try to try to you know push each other like hey who's gonna get there first oh hey who, oh you got this oh you got that and Whoever get there first, you know, that's us. You know, whoever get them first, you know, we're all celebrating. So, regardless, it's a win win for us for the defense. Last year, you sort of announced your arrival early on with a pick six. Mm -hmm. What do you do for an encore? Oh, man. Uh, I wanted to jump in the stands, but I didn't want to get a flag. So, uh, I know that's, that's something the NFL do. So, I just kind of held on and be calm for a second because I didn't want to drop the ball before the line or do anything dumb. But when it all happened, it was like a a fog in the air, like, oh, I couldn't believe this happened. Everything went quiet, and I was just, saw everybody jumping up, going crazy. So that was a good moment, a good, good, you know, good moment to live.